you know, we're focusing on the fake pot deaths, but there's more. At the very least, you would think that there are things that we need to know in this country about another drug called an opioid, right? For example, did you know that they're thinking about putting another opioid on the market? Doesn't that sound to you, or wouldn't that be like arguing that we need to come up with new ways to give more money and more arms to the Saudis? Kind of sounds like crazy talk, right? We are going to create another op opioid drug to put on the market, knowing what happened the last time we put opioids on the market. Well, guess what? The FDA has just approved a new opioid drug. It's called d -Suvia, And they say they're doing it to help recovering veterans. But by golly, you, you, can't, you, you can't help but think that there's a lot of people out there who are going to ask a lot of questions about this. And here now is the real story out of the drug world today that we also wanted to tell you about. I, I want to tell you about a drug with the name marijuana attached to it that is literally killing Americans. It's synthetic marijuana, and it's used by people who think it's just another type of marijuana. Well, guess what? It's not. Also, it's used by people who want to get high without it showing up when they take their urine test. That's why it's become popular in those circles. And it seems like, it, or at least it's starting to also look like, you know what else? It's looking like the kind of drug that's used by people who may very well have a death wish. That's how dangerous this is. RT America's Dan Cohen has the story for us. It's commonly known as synthetic marijuana. You might have heard it called Spice, K2, or even Scooby-Doo. But synthetic marijuana and actual marijuana are totally different. Synthetic marijuana is a catch-all term for any dry green leaves sprayed with various chemicals. Synthetic marijuana found in the street can be a hundred times more potent than either natural marijuana or the original synthetic. It's like PCP on steroids. You know, I've seen people roll around on the ground, filthy, dirty ground that people between two trash dumpsters, hollering and screaming. It's almost like they're experiencing a psychotic episode, you know, to be honest with you. Um, talking to themselves, having fights, injuring themselves. Though figures from the American Association of Poison Control Centers show synthetic marijuana use is decreasing, there have been more than 1,700 overdoses so far in 2018, some of them fatal. In a one-week period in July here in Washington, D.C., 244 people overdosed on synthetic marijuana. And in a 24-hour period in September, five people died after consuming it. Ironically enough, the whole problem exists because scientists weren't allowed to study actual marijuana. So a professor at Clemson University designed a synthetic version. Adam Eidinger was the first head shop owner in Washington, D.C. to sell synthetic marijuana. He says he first learned about it from members of the military looking to self-medicate with something that wouldn't show up on a urine test. Two uniformed officers came flying down the stairs into the store and were looking around and immediately asked if we had to <coughs> And uh, we didn't even know what spice was. And then they said, K2. And I really don't know what you're talking about. And, like, I do remember Googling it and immediately seeing, like, a package and them saying, that's it. In 2011, the DEA banned some of the chemicals used to make synthetic marijuana. The following year, President Obama signed the Synthetic Drug Abuse Prevention Act, permanently making the original types of synthetic marijuana illegal. Since then, the market has moved underground, and to skirt drug laws, Manufacturers continue to change the drug's molecular structure just enough to be considered a different and legal chemical. Constantly evolving, we're constantly chasing. It's a game of cat and mouse of them changing molecular structure, making a new analog, and us trying to schedule it. And the chemicals have become increasingly dangerous. Hundreds of people in 10 different states were treated for bleeding, and several died after smoking synthetic marijuana made with a blood thinner used in rat poison. Other chemicals like alcohol, acetone, and ammonia led to dozens of overdoses and three deaths in Denver, Colorado. We don't know where it's coming from. We don't know what it is. Because if it's most likely not a chemical that's banned, it's most likely a chemical that's still legal. The DEA sees it differently. What you want to leave.
legalize something just so you could have a way to control the quality of it. Well, it's still the quality of an incredibly toxic, poisonous substance. So to me, that argument doesn't really hold water. Well, it may work for some. It seems prohibition will never rid the streets of increasingly toxic drugs that are made with an ever-expanding list of available chemicals. Reporting in Washington, Dan Cohen, RT. Hey, YouTube. Thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. <clears throat> Baraka Tayahawa, Baraka Tayahawa Shai, Baraka Tayahawa, Baraka Tayahawa Shai, Baraka Tayahawa, Baraka Tayahawa Shai, Call Halayim, Yahawa, Bashim Yahawa Shai, Bashim Makar Kadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, the Charles is Truth, honors the citations of Austin Seachim throughout the four corners of the earth, <clears throat> labor and honesty, sincerity, charity, and truth, and sound doctrine. And to the Akwatim and to the children that believe on the name of the Father and the Son, which the, the name of the Father is Yahweh. The Son's name is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh meaning He exists. Yahweh Shai, He is the deliverer, because He's going to deliver us out of this captivity. And that's another way to hold the people captive is the video that I just showed. All right, my name is Micah Alaban Gab and Yashalam with the Watchman Philadelphia camp. And, um, you know. Like the, the lesson is basically on, on the madness. That that's madness right there. And Esau is always trying to figure out a way because they witches, man. And that's and that that and the and the, the men are warlocks. So those scientists that put those chemicals together and that synthetic marijuana, whatever, the K two that a lot of people not and that and that's running rampant now, man. Especially here in Philadelphia. You know, I see a lot of people smoking that shit and they yo, they start tripping, man. Bugging out, and that puts spirits on them, man. You know, anytime that you're using those type of drugs, whatever you put into your body, man, even you got the uh, what they call the wine and spirit store, you know, those put different spirits on you, man. That's why you got dudes that try to be like an incredible hawk and um, run, try to run through shit, like yo, crazy shit, man. But that's a that's a way for Esau to, you know. Keep, keep the people fucked up, furthermore blinded, man. And if you do that, if you read these scriptures, you would know better than even put that shit in your body, man. Because your body is a temple, man. You know? But this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and 17. It says, if, if any man defile the temple of the Most High, him shall the Most High destroy. For the temple of the Most High is holy, which temple ye are. And that's talking to who? You Israelites, man. And they and a lot of, and they be designing these drugs for who? Jake, man. They keep you fucked up the same way they did the crack epidemic. And then the, now, now the opioid epidemic. But now that shit is spinning to, to who? Esau. <clears throat> and that's when you get uh, people that want to, you know, do, um, do documentaries on these drugs and all that shit. Why? Because it, start, it starts affecting the Edomites. But hey, man, that that's what Yahweh by Shem Yahweh did. He allowed it to happen, so it could fuck you up, man. So y'all y'all always trying to fuck up Jake, man, because y'all hate Jake. Y'all hate your brothers, man. So you do all these different um experiments with drugs and all that, and you're trying to keep altering it. And all this does is keep... Uh, what you say, um, currency, keep the money flowing and all that, man, which Esau is a fucking devil, man, <clears throat> so check it out, this is, uh, and then they got the FDA approving certain, certain things, man, and then, then they put drugs in your food, so check it out, man, this is, uh, 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 Job chapter 13, verse 4, it says, but ye are, are forges of lies, you're a physicians of no value, man. So yeah, you trying to be physicians? What like a doctor or something, man? <clears throat> a physician. So they're physicians of no value, making bullshit, man. And you lie to the people, saying that you know it's it's harmless. It ain't. It's it, you know. And not, I'm not talking about that K two, but I'm pretty sure you know, like like the dude, the Edomite on that was talking about, like yeah, dog, you had the military come asking for this. First of all, you're a fucking asshole. If you, if you have to take a drug test, it's for a reason, man. So just stop. Don't do fucking drugs. How about that? Don't do fucking drugs, man. And Esau knows that you motherfuckers want to get hot. So he's like, you know what? I'm 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 going to do this. This is going to fuck him up. But it ain't going to show up in the drug tests and shit.
And I actually, the, with that dude selling that video, I actually heard somebody come out their mouth and say that. Oh, this doesn't show up in a drug test. Why you think the Most High let Esau have certain rules to keep you niggas in check? Because uh, Esau is your how about you now shot sword, man. All right. So he 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 does uh, 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 things things like that, man. If you get put on probation and all that shit, you have no business fucking getting high, man. First of all, you have no business being on fucking probation to begin with. You know? But, uh, let's go to Psalms. <clears throat> let's go to Psalms, uh, 119 and 68. Spirit. All right, it says, uh, it's like it's 69. Uh, this is Psalms 119 and 69. It says, the proud have forged a lie against me, but I will keep thy precepts with my whole heart, man. So, that, that, uh, well, you know, they, they forge, like I said, they, like I said, they like to forge lies, man. That's the, that's the reason why I brought that out there, to forge our lies, man. <clears throat> let's go to uh and the proud of true Esau. Let's go to verse fifty one. Same same script. One nineteen. It says the proud have had me greatly in derision, yet have I not declined from thy law, man. So yeah, that doing having drugs made like that is doing what putting the putting the, uh our people in derision, man. And these people walk around. Bugged out their mind, man. When I tell you they bugged out their mind, they like zombies, man. With all kind of demons on them. And you looking at them like, yo, what's up with the ball, man? Like, why? Yo, like, they, they look like they die, man, and come back from the dead. Like, I see people smoking this shit on the streets. And then two seconds later, they passed out on the ground. People screaming, call 911. You know? That shit is crazy, man. The people are derision. <clears throat> and who is the proud? Esau. He proud of that shit. All right. This is Psalms thirty six and uh thirty six and one. It says the transgressions of the wicked saith within my heart that there is no fear of the Most High before his eyes. So yeah, man, they don't fear Yahweh Bashem Yahusha because if you did, you know. You want to be smoking no K2, man. The niggas walk around calling it Tukey and all that. Like, yeah, this is this, this the thing to do. You know? Looking like just jackasses, man. You know? That's another epidemic. And what that does, that keeps you blind from the things that's going on, man. And Esau, that, that further shows you that Esau is the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. Keeping you in derision, man. That's why they <clears throat> have all these drugs and everything, man. They got their pharmacies and all that. But what? To keep the people in derision. To alter your mind. You know? Even with the food. That's why I said the FDA approved that shit. So that's the Food and Drug Administration. Why the fuck does... What, what, what uh, fellowship does food have with drugs? Nothing, shouldn't it? That's Esau being a devil, man. <clears throat> all right? And they and, and then you got niggas smoking this shit. I'm about, yo, man, I'm trying to pass my drug test and this is that. You know? They think they think that those things are right. Okay. So this is our uh, Proverbs chapter 14 and 12. It says, uh Salaki. It says, There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death, man. So yeah. And it said a lot of people died. What they thought that smoking that shit was right. He's like, oh yeah, everybody's smoking. This cool. I'ma smoke it. And yeah, that'd be that be your death. You'd be the one to die from smoking that shit. You know? That's why you gotta this it's important if you're an Israelite, a whole for let. You you know you don't defile your temple, man. You don't defile your temple. You know, even even <clears throat> when you was in the world, you shouldn't do that shit. You know? <clears throat> but 
we, we, we're not on, under our own free will. So I want to read that again, man. It's Proverbs 14 and 12. It says, There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death, man. All right? So you got dudes like you think of smoking K2 is cool and, and, and is right. It's the way of death, man. Either you're going to die from smoking that or you're going to die from these missiles. Or you're going to die in a famine. But you ain't going to escape death. Defiling your temple, man. Like I said, the most high going to destroy you. You defile the temple, the most high going to defile you. And I'm talking to Israel. I ain't talking to you heathens. You can do what the hell you want to all you heathens, man. It really don't matter. You know? Proverbs chapter 1 and 7. It says, The fear of Yahweh by Shemi is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So if you fear Yahweh by Shemi you ain't going to be doing no crazy stuff like that. That's the beginning of knowledge, man. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. <clears throat> but fools hate that, man. So a fool would hate this lesson, man. But man, I'm going to do what I want to do, man. Fuck that. That nigga don't know what he's talking about. I've been smoking 40 years. 30 years. You know? Esau, Esau studied you niggas, man. You know? It's time to wake up, man. Stop playing games, man. We have spiritual warfare, man. And you got brothers out here laboring in honesty and sincerity. To do what? To, for, to feed and wake up the hopeful elect, man. But you got a lot of dudes out here playing. I'm ended on this. This is our Proverbs chapter 12 and 23. It says a prudent man concealeth knowledge, but the heart of fools proclaimeth foolishness, man. So smoking that K2 is foolishness, man. All right? Smoking that K2 is foolishness. And all they're doing is setting it up to keep you blinded so when it's co when it comes time to snatch you niggas up, they can just easily do it. You got a lot of homeless people around here that smoke K2. And I walk past them, they just be like, in that zombified state of mind and shit. They zombies, man. And it's our people. That shit is sad. But guess what, man? You know, when you understand these scriptures, man, you understand death and all that, you know, hey, man, and, and understand judgment. And you do your part. You play your position. You teach these scriptures the way you're supposed to. You know, which is the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that comes from the elders or apostles of GMS. All right? <clears throat> And, and, and that's all you do, man. That's your job. You know? And with that, I hope that this lesson was edifying. I hope it made sense. You know? Because Esau, man, that's that's another another device that Esau has, man. As a matter of fact, the scriptures say we're not ignorant to Esau's devices, man. And that K2 is the device to what? Fuck with your mind. And once you smoking them drugs, you letting all them demons inside of you, man. You open up a gateway for them demons to come in even more and manifest themselves. When you're in the world, you got hella demons on you. And then smoking stuff like that to alter your mind, that brings in more demons, man. With that, I hope that the lesson was edified. Until the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalom.